process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rustam Tiger Avila! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Are you ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key match. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Watch these to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Switching stances here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big call from the first land. Now we get back to range. Oh, collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Big knee lands there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Kabbalah's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Kabbalah. Good punch. Kabalov gets stung by that leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Kabalov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mom is out. Thanks, kid. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. And they set him. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Try to establish that jab. Alright, he 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Beautiful punt. Powerful position here. <laughs> Left hand punch from the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well timed for All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes, oh, he might have got him with a choke. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Round two next. Hey, stop! All right, take a seat, bro. Slow that heart rate down. Slow it down. Good. Focus. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Lee's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that. But a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. They got him. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wins. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the just over three minutes to go now. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he's got his back now.
Everybody's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Kabilov ground and pound from half guard now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There it is, chest to the mat. It's in there deep, there you go. Wow. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mouth. Just go for the finish. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Kabalov's trying to lock up on a submission now. He's a tough armbar now. Oh, we're getting to finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar, Rusev Tiger! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and 